How's it going, everybody? Welcome to my second favorite episode of all time until episode 75, which is my first favorite episode, and uh, you'll have to figure out why. It's pretty obvious, but it's some exciting things are happening in episode 75. Today, though, is super special because this is not only the episode before the best episode, it is also the episode where we close off this area and we complete a project and we say, you know what, this is how it is. We've done it and we've achieved, hopefully, what I want to achieve. And I can tell you, I've already been achieving things like crazy over here before we've even started the episode. If you don't remember, this was completely flat and I've just gone ahead, slapped some mountains down there. And well, I'm, you know what? I'm really making mountains out of molehills. And I think I've said that before, but I really am. These aren't mountains. These are, these are little hills, little hills over there. They're a little bit rough, but we're going to work with them. I mean, we've done a lot of stuff moving like moving land last episode, and I'm not going to be doing that today. So that's why I said, you know what, Jancy, you just got to drop all this stuff here and get ready for the episode. And that's what I did, and I'm pretty happy with that. So the plans for today are to close off this area here. So from there to there, when you're standing anywhere in here, I want you to feel like this is complete. You don't want to see things like this, like these. Where the, You know what, these actually could go quite cool in that semi-tropical spot over there. That might be a good idea. I think, I, I hope String can stop these from growing because that might be cool. We can get some shorter ones. I guess, I, I would imagine String would shop, stop these from growing. So we'll put some shorter ones in there. But really what I want is I want to stand around, look around and walk around um, and horse around, clown around, all the arounds. And I want to do them knowing that this area is complete. That's it, really. That's as simple as it gets. So we've got a big task ahead of us in terms of expectation. But in terms of what we actually need to do, it's getting pretty simple. First of all, harvest our crops, just like that, bam, bam. We need a lot of crops so we can fill up those hills over there. And then the other thing is, which we still have a lot of birch, we gotta put some birch trees back there. And then to kind of crown the area off, we're gonna be putting a little lonely pier in the back here. Let, let me show you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Came prepared. Look at that. I never walk around with, oh, wait up. Oh, I thought I just lost it. Never walk around with my diamond hoe on me. We actually will also get an achievement, hopefully, this episode for one whole diamond hoe destroyed. So this area here, I think would be good to have a lonely little pier out there where someone could be fishing, maybe some boats come. And of course it'll be covered by trees, which I think would look just so good. Just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. You can see the lighthouse. You can see that, you can see that. This is the spot to be, and I think it's going to be awesome. So, you know what? I'm blabbing on a bit too much. I've got some farming to do, which is the harvesting and replanting of all this stuff here. And I've also got a little hunch, which I thought about just as I was starting to record this. I guess the sun's going down. I can probably uh, keep my hunch for a little bit longer. What I want to do is I want to try out berry bushes in terms of like a farmed berry bush. Ow, come on, there we go. In terms of farming berry bushes, I wanna try see what they look like if we just put a whole bunch of berry bushes, like crazy amounts. Cause sometimes <laughs> being lazy and just slapping down everything in a big slab actually makes a bit of sense. It's very weird, but it actually does. Here we go, creeping up to the edge. Not a lot has happened, but I've gone ahead and I've put in a bunch of these. They still have to grow. It turns out it wasn't actually quite as much work as I thought, as much as these original big ones were. We didn't actually need too much stuff there, so we're looking pretty good. But I thought I'd just cut in here because I've gone ahead and put a bunch of those berry bushes down just to see what they look like. And I'll be completely honest, I'm in two minds about them, but I think once I get them all the way to the bottom, like down there with some trees, I think they'll look really good. So I'm still not sold, but I'm not not sold right now. The other thought is also some birch leaves might go kind of well over there or even just oak leaves. I don't know what the color of the grass is like over there. It seems like it's a little bit lighter. I think that's a river biome right there. So we might be able to get away with normal grass color next to those. That could be kind of cool with the leaves, but I don't know, we'll see about that. But let me tell you, speaking about leaves, I am about to go crazy with the amount of leaves we're about to place. I'm gonna put in a whole load of birch all the way along, all the way along and stop back there. So this is gonna be quite a bit of work. I'm ready for it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on it. Before I go, I've just built one tree and then I realized I had this guy sitting over here. So we are gonna get the achievement, which really shows you that you've dedicated to farming. Look at that. That is serious dedication. 
Not gonna lie, I actually forgot what that was called. I thought it was something like throwing your time away or something along those lines. And uh, it looks like I just read it. Serious dedication. Where is that one right there? Surely it is around here. It must be one of the very important ones. There it is. Serious dedication. Use up. Oh, there we go. Reevaluate your life choices. That's what I thought it was. Something like that. Didn't realize that I was using the same words, but fantastic. We've still got a few to go. I haven't really been focusing on any achievements whatsoever. I thought they were pretty cool anyway. So there we go, more achievements on the way. I have gone ahead and put in all of the birch and I thought, you know what, I'll stand on top of my ship, put the render distance up and have a look. Oh no, the sun's going down. Have a look out there. How good is that looking? It actually looks like a proper forest that we've built and you can see the windmill coming up over there, the lighthouse poking out over there, the trees, that one in particular, that one in particular, you know, we just see all these things that we've built. It's gone pretty good, and I'm really loving the way that this is turning out. I don't like the fact that the sun is going down, so I'll be right back after I've caught a good night's rest. And we're on our way back up to the top. Uh, I've actually got to do a little bit of a sneaky thing here. I've got to go and end a pearl, like, there? I think that's... Oh, that might be too far. Oh, no, 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 no. that one was perfect. All right, so what I want to do is I want to do this. And I also have forgotten to make my rockets, which is easily fixed by me doing that, that, and putting them all together. Now, what I have done is I've gone and done a whole load of birch building, obviously. And in particular, I have used up all of the birch blocks. Wait, is it that way? Yeah, it is that way. Good. I thought I was doing this backwards. Uh, I've used up all the birch blocks practically besides these. So the 30,000 whatever odd leaves that we well, mind, they're all gone. We've literally used 30,000 leaves in this area here. We're not going to be using birch throughout this entire island. All I wanted was just to make certain areas a certain biome. So we've got our first one, which is this more tropical one, which merges into the birch over there. And then I've got many other things that I want to build. And of course, building one particular tree across the whole thing is going to get really boring, as it kind of has in this area, but it, it it's necessary. You know what I mean. It's necessary for that. Now, let's do something I have not done in a long time. Jump off something and catch myself with Elytra. There we go. Look at that. Wonderful. Okay, so what do we want to do? Let's just go F5 over here and we want to go fly around. I want to have a look at this area from above because I never get to do this. Except for in that replay mod thing, but insane that that one wasn't uh, too crazy because, of course, it was more just me planning out stuff and can I... Oh, man. I wish I had like a free camera so as I'm flying I could look around without going in the direction that I'm looking. It probably feels a little bit choppy because I've got the ren chunks rendered out pretty far, but that's alright. Let's just go bam, bam. That was a nice soft landing. And come around here. So look at that. Look at all those trees. It's crazy. It actually is. It's pretty nuts because, as I say, 30,000 plus blocks in this area here. It adds up very, very quickly, and of course it's also my whole um, idea of how I wanted this area to turn out, and it's actually turned out that way after all this work. It's really very, very pleasing, I'll tell you that much. It's very exciting to see it all turn out. So let's do the walk-in from here. Walk, walk, walk. Bam, trees everywhere. It feels like it's covered in. There's a few little gaps. You see, for instance, there there all those ones eventually what i think the plan will be is to do some of these smaller trees like this you see this sadly i've used birch as well but we want to do some of those and what they're going to do is they're going to cover up the bottom parts of these and that's just going to stop the light from coming through and that's going to make it feel even more closed in make it feel like its own little area i really love it the Frames look a little bit choppy right now, and it's probably because I am rendering out, I think it is actually 24 chunks, so I'll drop that much better. It looks just a lot smoother as I move around. I hope it didn't come out as choppy in the video, but you know what, it's alright, it's not a big deal. But you know what I was thinking, I've said this before, and I just wanted to say it again, because it's something that bugs me, and I wish we could have it in this game, and it doesn't seem too crazy. So you see for instance here, it, uh, the wheat's probably a bad example, but these carrots, you can see I've planted some of them, and they all got different heights. But when you look at them all, and that when they've grown in probably another few hours, all of these are going to look exactly the same, and it kind of looks a little bit boring. So what I thought about, and this is something I've wanted in a few different ways. First of all, to stop crops from growing. So what I was thinking would be cool is making a potion where you, for instance, just use it on this block, and it stops it from growing up. So it'll keep it at whatever level it is. So you see there, you can see a little bit of the carrot poking out. 
there there's none. If we could just stop these at different levels, that would be so cool. It would just add another level to building farms. But I even thought about how this potion could be used even further. You know, just how we can improve it. And we'll walk around this way, just take this in. The, the way that I think it could be improved even further is, for instance, stopping baby animals from growing up. So you have a baby cow, bam, you use this potion on it, it doesn't grow up anymore. And I've even thought about what the ingredients would be. So, well, I mean, obviously just your normal awkward potion or whatever it would be. And then bam, add a rotten potato in it. So it's kind of rare, kind of hard to get. And it makes your crops stay there. It makes your baby animals looking cute and of course uh, it just improves the game in my opinion that's something I've wanted for a while and I uh, hope it's not a bad idea but I think it's a pretty good idea I think it would be really really cool so our plan here because I've got some other good ideas uh, is to build the pier out that way so I'm thinking we go out there we want it to look rickety we want it to look old as I say I want it to be kind of lonely so as if there's nothing really going on there it just sits there maybe some guy comes around and uh, fishes off the edge and then heads off for months on end and then no one looks after it So that's our goal with this pier We've got some building to do here and I want to just step up to the top Which of course is the pier, but I've also got some other little things. So the berry bushes have been Multiplying I've got a few more over there Just spread them out what I was talking about with the grass because I realized it's not that obvious That is actually a very big trip out. I'm gonna get rid of that because that was very weird I never use my elytra. So when I jump off things with my elytra and I hit spacebar again it ends up feeling very weird because I end up falling slowly and it's just odd and I don't like that so let's do this over here this is what I was thinking right uh, I'm pretty sure these don't change color depending on the biome I've been meaning to test that out Ooh, oops uh, that was a bit too powerful let's just pop some of those over there now do these oh I'm wondering if this grass will maybe break them up a little bit can I come around here I feel like I've trapped myself in here uh, around here, so let's go maybe remove that one, remove that one, and that one. Those ones are lost forever. I'm not going in there. My boots have been taking absolute beating. I had no idea that these darn, oh, I can't place it that way, these darn berry bushes, they destroy your boots like crazy. Look at this. I'm on durability 208 out of 429, all right? I'm breaking three, might I add. These boots are good quality boots. You're not getting any better quality boots than this. Two hits, look at this. So it's 208, now I am 206. I'm breaking three. I don't know if that makes a difference, if maybe just having a breaking nothing <laughs> on there makes three times the amount of damage. I don't know, but that seems pretty crazy, pretty nuts. So that is a bit of a pity, but I guess it's actually pretty good because it means that your boots have got a reason to be repaired for. Of course, when you don't have mending, ow, uh, that was horrible, why did I do that? Uh, when you don't have mending, of course it is very expensive, so I'm just gonna make sure I don't touch berry bushes while I am wearing boots. Does- I wonder if that takes a hit. I should have looked at that. I don't think it does. Alright, so in there, those little tufts of grass, I think break it up. I think if we put some more grass over there, it's just gonna make a good difference there, you know? Sometimes it's those little bits you just gotta focus on for a little bit, and then it makes everything look a lot better. So, there is job number one done. The next part is, of course, to create the pier that I was thinking about. And what that is going to do is that's going to go out into the water over here. And I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about what we could use in terms of blocks. And I think, actually, let's put it around here somewhere. Because that means we've got a bit of space on either side to work with. Yes. And, of course, we've got depth. That's the other one. We need a, a bit of depth in the water. So I'm thinking, let's just start off somewhere just randomly. We'll go there and there. We'll do it. Odd number of blocks, three wide, because odd numbers are the best numbers. So we do something like that, and get ourselves a starting point. So a few things we have to think about is, this can't be too large, it can't be too small, it has to be somewhere in between, and it also has to look broken down, rickety, as if it's sat here for a while and nothing's really happening to it. So let's do that there, and maybe something like that there. Okay. So, good start, of course, very basic, but then we're going to start maybe adding in some things like that. In fact, a gate could go pretty good there, if gates can be waterlogged. And then we'll just start adding in stuff, for instance, that there, that there. Or, no. Hmm. Okay, I've got a thought about this. This is, this is my thinking pattern right here. So, first of all, this over here, I want it to be flush with the water as if it was just floating on the water because a proper one does, like a proper pier that's kind of just sitting out in the middle of nowhere, 
People don't really elevate those, at least the ones I've seen in real life, of course. They tend to float. It's very strange, but they float on the water, and it makes sense because no matter how high the water gets, it's always at the right level. So that makes a good amount of sense. Let's just put in these as a temporary block. Actually, that looked kind of cool with that underwater, so we'll keep that one underwater. Just, just for the sake of keeping it underwater. And then we'll put the rest of these in here just as a temporary base for us to work with. So we do that there for now. And we'll look at it from afar and hopefully, yeah, look at that. Just that little bit of a break in it is good. And then I'll just put a bit more in there. So before we go any further, I just want to make a shape that we can follow. All right, that was super basic what I did there, but I think it's going to work. So here's my thoughts, all right? Here's my ideas for this pier that I was coming up with. Why do I have two stacks of those? That's silly. So first one is, I was thinking, of course, these beautiful trapdoors have to be in here. They are just like a game changer in the truest sense. It did change the game and it is a game changer in some other senses as well. Uh, that is a problem because of course that needs to be touched in there. So maybe what we'll do, I guess that kind of actually defeats my purpose of a floating pier. That also doesn't work because I think this here will be a better job. So we put in one of these, just like that, just like that. Different angle maybe, if that does move to a different angle, does it? I've always wondered with these, I'm pretty sure when we put a block, actually it will, if we do it that way. Yeah, then it does. You see the grain of this changes if you put it that way, but the minute you put it facing down, like say I put it down on that block, it's gonna have the same grain. I think it always goes east to west, I think, but it's a bit of a pity, but hey, you know what? Can't do anything about that. So we'll just put in a few of those. Next new block that's awesome. You know, we need more things for other blocks. Like, <laughs> all this goes so well with spruce, and I feel like I overuse spruce too much, but it's just so much better than the other blocks. There's no excuse to use another block, almost, in some places. It, the spruce is just that good. So we do something like that. It's looking a little bit broken down, which is good. So maybe, maybe this one we do a little bit higher. Maybe we go, like, there. So we'll make these a little bit higher. And is this looking broken down? Mildly. All right, so next thought pattern. Let's go around here, start adding some pieces on the top. Maybe there, and maybe one there, as if it's kind of slipped away, broken. That's good. In fact, I brought these as well. Let's just put some of these in. The reason why stairs are actually really good for a lot of things is because of this half piece here. So you see that? That half block, that's why the stairs are really good. It just means that when you're looking at a grid, like you see how this becomes a grid, that just shoots your vision off a little bit. And then you all of a sudden think, hey, maybe that isn't like a, a whole bunch of blocks and maybe it's something a little bit more. But it's just a bunch of blocks. It's just a bunch of blocks. There we go. Much better. Just add another one in maybe over here. Yeah, that's good. So with these, I'm just going to put another one in there. And perhaps what we could do to offset this a little bit more is we remove this one. So we just do that there. And we put it as if the ground or maybe something has shifted. And uh, oops, <laughs> uh, can I just accurately place blocks? That would be great. Maybe there. And we'll just put it out over here as if this has fallen away like that. Yeah, let's see if that works well. So the idea of this, as I say, just look rickety, look broken, as if it's sat there for a long time. Does it do it? Yes, although maybe some of these will be good in there. So that's, that's not a big difference. All we have to do is put in a few more of these. And as I say, this piece isn't a big deal, but it's just to add a little bit of character to this area. And having this out here, I think does add a little bit more character to it. Perhaps all I need to do is just merge that in a little bit, put a bit of a path. Maybe a compost bin as if there's a basket for some fish could be a good idea. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. And even the fish came out to help me out here. So that's not a bad idea. All right, I think we've got this. Now I've got some other stuff which I want to do as well. Now we're in the next place that I thought we should be building in because I've been meaning to come back to this building for quite some time and I just have not done it right over there. At first I was a little bit worried that maybe this building was a little too simple. And I think I was kind of right. It is a little bit too simple. But I want to come around and do another little overall fix up of this thing. And I want to make it a little bit less simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove blocks like that around there. I think you might know where I'm getting at with this. And we just go bam. Oh, okay. Um, that's surprising. 
Those are a lot lighter than I expected. That is dark oak, right? Dark oak log. Okay, that is throwing me off a little bit because I thought that was going to be <laughs> a lot darker. Let's just change this up with some of those. That's a pity. Okay, maybe my ideas don't work as well as I thought they did. Al, uh, I thought the dark oak was going to be a lot more, a lot closer to the dark oak planks. That's a pity. Let's just try one more. Let's just put these in and see what they look like from a distance. But I thought this was going to be a surefire way to make this place look a lot better. So maybe head out over there. No, 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 no. That just doesn't work. That's so sad. I thought that was going to be like the grand idea that was going to fix this place up. Even though I said it isn't 100% as what I wanted, I think that it does work considering the whole bunch of work that we've done around here to make a very basic place like that look a lot more interesting. I'm happy with it. I just thought I could improve it a little bit more. Maybe there's another block out there that could help me in the future. But for now, you're just going to have to remain the same. This area has come a very long way. I wish I had the world from just before we started actually leveling this area, which I may very well have a backup from then, which would be pretty cool to see one day. But it's changed a lot, and I think it's changed for the better. Now, in the next episode, I tell you, it is my favorite episode of all episode types because it's uh, divisible by 25, which is a super cool number to be divisible by, if you know my episodes. Either way, we're going to be seeing this world a little bit differently, a little bit cool in the next episode. And of course, this episode has been absolutely awesome, doing a lot of simple things just to polish it off. And of course, now we can comfortably say we're ready to start the next area. Thank you very much for joining me here today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.